Hi there, this is the Heir of Carthage bringing you a Rome Total War online commentary battle. This is a live battle. I'm playing against the Seleucids, commanded by Pyrus. So, I guess you could call this a what if, uh, well I guess the Carthaginians did fight against Pyrus in real life, so um, this would be a historical battle. Other than the fact that um, me having all sacred band infantry wouldn't have been very historic. So in any case, uh, let's get the battle started. So I'll try and do my best to commentate, um, but I have no idea about the skill of my opponent. So I have to be careful and make sure that I'm playing well also. He does outnumber me by about 400 men, which isn't to be unexpected. The Seleucid units are pretty cheap. So that doesn't necessarily mean that he's going to suffer in upgrades or anything either. Um, I've brought, um, as you can see, six Sacred Band Infantry, four Sacred Band Cavalry, and three um, Round Shield Cavalry. My idea is to overpower my opponent with Cavalry. I use this same tactic um, several times against the Seleucids, and I'm hoping that it'll work again. My infantry line is very, very tough and the idea is for them to be able to hold off whatever else is there while my cavalry can gain superiority over the field. Also I brought six units of Sacred Band in case I need assistance from one of my units. With the cavalry fight I'll still have plenty of Sacred Band to hold the line. So I'm going to stop recording for a moment until the battle starts. Alright, the battle's begun. Um, let's take a look at what my opponent has. I can already see that he didn't understand the rules. I called out CWB. He's brought um, a unit of armored elephants anyway. He's formed a new box here. Um, his men don't have any upgrades, which means that this is going to be a short fight um, unless I'm sorely, sorely mistaken. And I don't think that I am. He's got a general's bodyguard here, armored elephants. He's got a new box formed by Silver Shield Pikemen, and he's got some cataphracts on this wing. So uh, the reason he doesn't have any upgrades is because he purchased elephants. And because I have a rush army, I am going to need to rush into position. So I don't really have anything good to deal with his elephants other than my infantry. So I'm going to keep some of my infantry not busy and punch my way through his noob circle. Um, and I'm going to keep his cataphracts. I'm going to go smash his cataphracts with my cavalry. So uh, that'll be my plan for now. Let's see how it works. I wish I would have had some slingers. I could have really torn up his um, noob circle with some slingers, but I've been using rush armies a lot lately. I kind of like rush armies. Gets down to business a little quicker. So here we go. Let's get the fight started. I'm going to run right up into his face here. His archers are all bunched up together, which means their uh, ability to shoot at me is going to be greatly hampered. So that's another thing that's going to work in my favor here. I'm going to leave one unit of pikemen free on either side. A little bit of lag in the game. I don't think it's my connection. Now what he should have done was he should have brought his elephants over here to help in the cavalry fight. That would have greatly assisted him. Instead he's charged right into one of my sacred band units here. That's not going to be overly effective. All right, his cavalry has routed before I can even surround them. I've got my sacred band units keeping his phalanx busy there. His cavalry is in absolute tatters. Um, so now it's just a matter of breaking his infantry. Well, I did manage to route one of my units of sacred band there. However, I'm about to bring in a massive hammer and anvil strike that should pretty much end this battle. Well, his elephants routed two units in my sacred band. That's pretty unfortunate. Huh. There we go. I routed all of his archers. I'm trying to get my cavalry out of there not responding well. This battle's getting kind of messy. 
Gotta kill these elephants here. I've run his elephants amok. So that's bad news for him. Now, basically, I just need to get my men back in the fight. He doesn't have a whole lot of way to protect his, um, his back lines because I have cavalry supremacy now. So now this battle has definitely turned in my favor. Um, I have cavalry supremacy, and I have an infantry supremacy, I believe. Um, his silver shield pikemen have no upgrades, um, so that's going to cost him, um, because my sacred band are very tough. And even though their numbers are greatly depleted from his um, elephant strikes, um, it'll be big enough for me to get the job done. See, like right here, he's he's gonna have no way to protect against uh, my impending cavalry strikes. See there, he's he uh, jumped the gun, so I just kind of made it look like I was gonna strike his cavalry, and then when he turned around, I was able to um, take advantage of that. So here again, I'm I'm fainting. I'm fainting a cavalry strike and making his infantry turn his back to my infantry. I'm gonna get my infantry to follow his. I'm not doing the best job of controlling my troops here. I'm doing okay. I really should be a bit quicker. Alright, so I'm trying to get my cavalry away from his pikes. Okay, now I've got my infantry up here to fix his into place. Now all I need to do is get his pikes out of the picture. Now I can charge his silver shield legionnaires and easily rout them. They're not particularly good at fighting cavalry. Perfect enemy. Now my opponent said, stand, uh, pretty good fight, away. and I'm going to type, indeed, was it was. I have to admit, when I saw my opponent's army, I thought it was going to be a very easy fight. Um, he's asking me a question to understand. Um, anyway, my opponent's, uh, for some reason, he's mad. He's saying that my cavalry was cowardly, and that my infantry is overpowered. And, um... Victory lies in your grasp, and there is nothing uh, the enemy can do but run! In any case, uh, the Sacred Band aren't necessarily representative of a typical Carthaginian army. Um... Sorry, my opponent's talking to me. Um, so in any case, he's still calling my tactics cowardly, which I highly disagree with. Um, maybe I'm wrong. 
if you think he's right, then let me know on YouTube, and I guess I'll reconsider, but um, I really don't think that my army was cowardly in any way. Um, it's kind of a tactic to go cavalry heavy sometime, um, and quite honestly, uh, in selecting his army, he should have been prepared for the option of me being cavalry heavy. Instead, he spent all of his money on elephants, um, which greatly reduced the ability to upgrade his phalanxes. He was saying my phalanxes are overpowered, but it was really because he neglected to spend any money on his own phalanx. So anyway, I'm saving the battle here, and let me get you the results. Um, as you can see, I had 1,358 kills, while my opponent Pyrus had 444 uh, kills. Uh, good game to Pyrus. It was a good fight.